Hello YouTube, and this is Humbo Five. Yeah. Um, today is simply um, fight over the Humbo and rush and attack. Um, that's, we're going to be doing that today, and hopefully you'll understand the Humbo is not a toy or anything. Uh, oh yeah. To Uncle Cal, it'd be something like this. Exactly the same thing which I'll be making for you and sending off to you. But you want it in black, so I have to spray paint it black. Or stain it black. Either way, it's coming to you. Along with a pair of nunchucks. Just like this. I hadn't finished these yet. Um, I have to burrow holes in it and attach it with a string <laughs> or a rope so see you in the next clip all right now like i said this is fighting with the hombo fight over the hombo excuse me and you know this is ironic she disappears all the time when i'm about to do this where is she Oh, there she is. <laughs> you got to make teaching fun once in a while. If you don't, it gets boring real fast. Okay, this is, uh, this is a very tricky move. All right? Whoever does this, especially kids, if kids are out there watching this, please don't do this. All right? If you do do this, Make sure it's safe because uh, it's very dangerous. All right. Okay. We're fighting over the Honda. All right. Let me back up just a little. Okay. You ready? Okay. I'm just standing here, natural stance. Some person comes up. What the? Okay. She pulls towards herself. <laughs> then I pull towards me. And then, bam! Up. Oh, shit. Wrong. Ow. Ow. They are supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut on that one. All right. All right. She pours towards herself. Go towards myself. Bam! Kicks that leg. Then I come up, over, and she's flat on her back. And then what you can do, come in, smack, and then hold her right there. But let me get a better view of that. Uh -huh. Like I said, you come in. Flat. Right in the face. After that, you can hit them right dead in the throat. Now, you don't see that, but I'm not doing anything very dangerous here. Get out of the way, kitty. I'm just barely doing this part, but actually, you're supposed to put a lot of pressure on it because you're hitting the nerve right in there. Causing a choke, most likely. <laughs> See? But I didn't mean to do that. So, after that, you know, you hit in the face, come up, wham! Fortunately, that would be enough where it probably make him grab his throat, and you can just skedaddle out of there. You know? Don't stay down there long now. The person might come back up, get mad. Get back down, I'm out of here! <laughs> okay, since y'all had a good chuckle, a good laugh, just one minute, let me just make sure this is set up right here. Alright, since you had a good chuckle, good laugh, also good training, 
This one's from a rush and attack. Um, this is when someone comes straight at you. You have nowhere to go, like you see right here. I have nowhere to go. I can't back up. I can't run this way. I can't run that way. All right? Because I smack right into the wall. Okay, and I smack right in back like that into the wall. Remember, never have your back towards a doorway. Because if you have a back, if he can overpower you, or she can overpower you, will slam you against this back thing and oh it will hurt I got slammed up against the wall one time like that and ever since then I said no fucking way I'm never going to have it like this so uh, here we go this is from a Russian attack she's coming in boom boom Okay, let me get you a better angle on that. Now, since she's down on the ground, and the only thing... Let me straighten up your body posture. No. Okay. Alright, since the person's down on the ground, and everything like that, the only thing you could do, pop in the knee, and then place the stick over top of the ankle. Okay, let me get you a better view on that. Top of the ankle. See, the stick is on top of the ankle. What you do, you just apply pressure on that. And if you want to apply a little bit more pressure so the guy will never get back up, you just rear her down, break the ankle. So, those teachings could be very crucial in the jitsu. It is. Ought to know. And everything like that. Because the ankle, very, very tender. You can snap that with not much pressure. You can just snap it with a lot of hondo pressure. But when you're down like this and have a stick, the pressure to say if I was standing, the pressure on that would have been ten times great. Okay? But I'm not going to do that. Already did it with the foot. But you have to do it safe. Do it about like four or five times. And everything like that. And let me give her a little interview here. How was that pain? <laughs> Excruciating, wasn't it? All right. There you go. From the from my eyes, your view, and thank you. Let me lift her up here. <laughs> and no harm was done in this making of this video. So remember, Hombo Five. It's a good lesson. Can't wait to six. I might have to wait until after the holidays because I might be getting my teeth worked on. You know, ripped out and everything because I'm in excruciating pain, but not right now because I took some medication. But you get the picture. I have to get those wisdom teeth out. <laughs>